Nathan Eovaldi will get the start for the Texas Rangers. And Al Leiter, obviously Jacob DeGrom, was the headline pitching acquisition for this Rangers ball club. But Nathan Eovaldi has been their best starting pitcher all season so far. Yes, he has. What was it, two-year, uh, what, $34 million deal? Coming off a back issue. And if it wasn't for that, the Rangers did a heck of a job in signing him. Because all he's ever done. But before we go, Gamer. I know this, gets out of, get a, this could get out of a little control. <laughs> Come here. Before it right, gets so before, started. What, you're, okay. you're teaching U12, your manager of USA team and all that. If you had to have just a couple checkpoints on what pitchers try to do or what they should uh, complete the package, what is it? Establish a fastball. Okay, go ahead. What's next? I mean, what do you want? Deception? You want to be a consistent big league pitcher. I need to do... Repeat your mechanics. Okay, so we Deception, got mechanics. stuff, command... What else you want? What am I missing? I'm going to hold off because you're, you're <laughs> almost right there. All right. So, yeah, Nathan Avaldi, by the way, an awesome dude and an, a great teammate, wants to help others, uh, talks pitching, just a gentleman. Uh, got a Wanted chance. to pitch for the U.S. Uh, I, just, a, just an awesome human being. Okay. Well, let's go. What Nathan Avaldi has done up to this point, minimum 40 innings, there's a lot of – Eric Nay stuff in here. Respectfully, research, research analytics stuff. Stars. Come on, let's but go. But basically, FIP is important. You can control that. Yep. Uh, walks, home runs, and strikeouts. The F4 includes that. I'm basically establishing over the uh, last four starts, he's 3 0 with an ERA under one. This dude is elite. When he's healthy and right. Top 10 pitcher in the game you right can make now. Make that argument. Yeah. No, it, it, yeah. No, I. I the, every time out, big games, he's shown up, he's done it. Okay. He's right, he's dirty. So we know at this network, since we've been here a long time, I've been here since day one, who, what, do you know his whereabouts, where he started and how he's evolved? I mean, you're asking the wrong guy. Of Let's course I know tape. where he started. Well, I'm play, play along with me. All, All right. right. Evaldi evolved. <laughs> Dodgers, <laughs> high school pick, gets traded to the Marlins, traded to the Yankees. Let go, free agent sign. Remember, the Tommy John, uh, he had two Tommy Johns. Where are you going to go coming off some injuries and you want to reinvent yourself? Boom. Boom. Gets traded to the Red Sox. World Series. And now home. And I say home, throw a cap on him. Be a little Texan. Uh, Alvin, Texas. Okay, let me, let me stay with this. All right, when did he come out as like a national name if you're right just here. not X's and O's and zeroing in at this network and people who really know baseball? This was game three. It was an 18 inning game. He threw the most innings in the history of the World Series. Six innings, gave up one run. The Red Sox ended up losing. But to a, to a person in that organization, they said this effort of six innings of relief got them to win the World Series. Yeah. This was phenomenal. And it was one of those things where we knew he was what he was as far as stuff-wise. Okay, deception. We talk about delivery. I could get on here and show you what it's supposed to look like and all Spalding guy and everything is perfect and break and finish. And He's got through. a funk in his delivery. Got a like lot goes, of funk. He goes, bink. What is that? Bink. That's, that's, that's kind of a key timing mechanism for him. But he also kind of slinks. All right, go ahead. So this is not ideal. I mean, he has had some injury. I said two Tommy Johns. But he's, he's a guy that you know when you're facing him. This is a guy that's not like, huh, I better hit my spots. I better be careful. But yet he's got good control. Watch this here. Watch it. Slow. Stop at release point, please. Okay. So he's slightly across his body. This could yeah. be a little breaking ball, maybe even a change up. Uh, and it kind of comes out a little, kind of a, that's a three quarter slot. Go ahead, throw it. Play it. Oh, breaker. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Rizzo. You know, kind of leg kick is kind of benign, and then kind of comes kind of a slot of a, of a low three-quarter. Okay, there's deception. Stuff. Now we go Nasty to... Nasty stuff. Okay, so I'm... Get his heater up to three digits. Yeah, he used to be a 100-mile-an-hour guy. Now he's only 97. Only 97. You know, you'll see some 95s in there as well. But this is a get in there. Let it, let it eat. That's an 0-2, 1 2. These are fat 98 dot away. This is legit stuff. What's the next thing we talk about in pitching? Command. Command and control. Can you command your pitches? If you have 97 or better, great. We'll talk about Bobby Miller later about talking about stuff. 
Watch the glove here. Let me see if we got, we got it right here. All right, back that up. I, I just want to accentuate this because, one, you might have just a, a guy who has to use all of his pitchers, like uh, you know, a lot of guys that don't throw 95 or better. But look at the location right here. Watch, watch how I'm behind plate, the catcher. Boom. Like, that's perfect. Yeah. Go ahead and play it. So we got a 76 mile an hour fastball, 97 mile an hour fastball. Look at the glove. 1 0 count, split on the inside part of the plate, looking heater. Slider at 85. All right, command of not only a fastball, but all of his pitches. Change of speeds. Well, I just showed you some of them. You have a, a, a change of speed from 89. There's a split, nasty. We'll talk about that here in a second. I still will never understand how a guy can throw a split finger. I honestly, even gripping Slider. It, so we got some 87s, 85s. Slider, 83. Come on, give me a curveball. Here we go. 79. Boom. So we got a great speed variation from his heater, 78. Even slower. So now you're having to find which speed and location. Stop for a second. Give me a chance. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> uh, this is probably going to go splits. Go ahead. I, I was going to go to a board. Yeah, can we go to the board? You ever throw a I'm, split, Al? I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull you. Yeah, I did. I played around with it. How does got that not just rip your elbow? Because you're not throwing it like this. Look at it. it just seems like soon as you you're, you're grab throw, it, you're you're, you shouldn't be there. Yeah, but go ahead, hold this here. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like, I shouldn't be here. here. Uh, yeah, I know. My you're forearm gonna... is already stressed. Okay, guess what? You know what Ryan Dempster told me? And he had a heck of a... Yeah, Brian, Brian, Brian don't Show this right here. So I mean, Brian I said, as far as that? not... Watch my thumb. Here, give him a chance. See the thumb right here? Yeah. You pull the thumb up on the side a little bit. David Cohn would do that, too, because you like, can manipulate. Right, you're hurt. Like, my well, no, fingers are stressed Yeah, but you're swing... Give me this. Watch here. Now take it out of my hand. Take it out of my hand. Yeah, you're. That's how we're holding it, like yeah. an egg. Well, not like an egg, but you don't have to kill it, especially right. your thumb. But your thumb on the side, and 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 Ryan when Dempster can, was saying. When can kids start throwing that? Mm, I'd I'd wait. I want to see how a circle change looks. The reason why this is effective for guys because you, pronation. You really need good. Here, let me show here. For a guy to have a good changeup, you really have to stay inside the ball and pronate in order to get the right action on the changeup. And if you can't do that, which I was, it was hard for me because I cut everything, this was a better changeup for me because now you're just trying to cut the catcher in half, right? I'm just taking this and boom, take the catcher high to low and have that dip. It's a great pitch. Yeah, it's a great pitch. All right, so here, thank you for putting this board up. Uh, this, you can just see. I just want you to see the evolution. It's mind-blowing. His heater, the percentages are cut in half. Yeah, and when you gain a success and you, and you see results, he throws it to righties and lefties, of course that number's going to go up, as it did from he never threw it to 27%. I want to give Larry Rothschild a little, a little uh, uh, credit here. When he got to the Yankees, Rothschild had him, give me this, as you just showed. Rothschild said, look, you change up, eh, you throw really hard, you got a slider, occasional curveball, let's try to get some velo off. And he had him throw a fork ball, a la Dave Stewart and some other guys that we played that, Jack Morris, I got a chance to play both those guys in Toronto. This is uncomfortable, what you just said, because it's, it's bam. My nephew throws a, throws a split finger, and he gets in there with the Cubs, uh, Mark Kleider Jr. Uh, so he had him feel uncomfortable like this. And then it's just you place the ball and you create drag. That's all it is. His split has is, is, is got velocity on it. It's 88 to 90 miles an hour. So you create drag and cut it in half. Larry did that in 16 or so before he got hurt uh, in 17. And then 18, the rest is... Uh, I think it's, it's mind-numbing today's game that a guy who throws 97, 98 miles an hour only uses his heater 37% of the time. That's In today's game... They are diving in so much to shapes and getting off your barrel. That's why it's so difficult for these guys to hit on a daily basis. If I face Nathan Evaldi in the late 90s, early 2000s, and he had 97, I'm seeing his four-seamer 75% of the time. Uh, and maybe one other pitch. Yeah, I'd say seven. Now I got to cover four. Yeah, but he might be doing, some guys are doing you a favor because when you get to analytics good, good, and they want yes, you to throw, you know, he spins up a, a mediocre slider, whack. 88. Okay, go. All right, Th this is this is really special because he's gotten to a point now. See, there's a split there. Yeah. He can cut it. He can control it. It's not just aim middle of the plate and hope it goes down and dives down. He could do one in. He could do one away. He could cut it. He could sink it like that. So there, that in itself is a manipulated pitch that has 
three or four different usages to it of how it comes out of his hand. This is just awesome. I think a split finger is like, I mean, Bruce Suter threw it back in the 70s. Uh, this is a pitch that I think if guys start really trusting it, because you can throw it as hard as you can. He's not babying it in there. Sometimes when you get guys with change-ups, you kind of want to goose it and you push it. To your point, to, to the point about this, uh, this was these last few years and not so far what he's doing right now. Now, I grant a little bit smaller sample size, you're going to yeah. get more splits. But here you go. He's not missing. Right. So you got the down and in. Uh, to the righty and the down and away to the lefty. It's it's a separator pitch. He's gaining a lot of confidence in it. And oh, by the way, he still throws 97 miles an hour. Nathan Evaldi is so legit. Now, it, it, Rangers, it, it, it's a savvy sign. I think that the entire league wanted to sign this guy. It's just a matter of can you trust he's going to make 32 starts based on the history. When he's right, one of the games. But he now leads. for two years at 34. I, I mean, that's that's a bargain.